Hi guys, this is uh, post bag number two. Um, I've actually done this one before, I've actually filmed it before, but I, I made an absolute mess of it, so I'm going to redo it. So these guys are already open, uh, but let's go through them. Uh, again, these are from AliExpress. Uh, lots of goodies, lots of things to go through. So I'm just going to tip it out, nice and safe for all the electronics. Nope, they're not part of it. Ignore that. That's right. So what have we got? We have got a LED uh, infrared remote control um, for your microcontroller projects. Uh, this came with pretty much as a kit. So you get the controller, which has basic uh, up, down, left, right, OK numbers, buttons, and you get a infrared receiver. Uh, and it's a case of wiring up to a microcontroller using an LED library, uh, infrared uh, remote library, and using the remote to control whatever you fancy. That is an empty bag. This is a coin battery holder uh, for things like a lily pad. Uh, it's got big connectors. Oh, it can be sewn in and uh, it's got a little micro switch on off switch just to power a microcontroller I just saw this fancied this uh, put me parts draw nothing in particular to use it for it yet Get that. these are bits that I've been messing with okay what is this this is a voltage uh, step down regulator switch it that way uh, basically with this uh, it goes you've got a voltage in which can go up to I believe 12 or 24 volts uh, and it outputs a 5 volt uh, regulated voltage into a USB style port the display lights up shows you the input voltage uh, the two switches are it switches a unit on and off and the other switch actually switches the output on and off so you can have it in and you can you can visualize what voltage you're coming through and then you can actually switch on the actual regulator now uh, I was planning on using this to connect to some kind of uh, energy harvesting uh, device like a solar panel or a wind generator like a motor uh, and eventually output a USB 5 volt voltage uh, to power things like a battery uh, power bank this comes as a unit uh, it is a RF antenna um, it's from the small socket I forget the name uh, it goes onto the circuit boards things like the ESP um, 8266 and it goes onto the larger uh, high gain antennas that you would usually see in your routers uh, nothing particular to use this for however quite keen on using the uh, the wireless boards so it's always handy to have in these are so 10 uh, right angled 90 degree header pins you can see them so instead of the usual straight ones these go off at right angles and you can connect your components at right angles very useful again one for the parts drawer ok we've got two sets of high power LEDs uh, one I think they're both actually uh, white natural white uh, these are 1 watt LEDs uh, and these are 3 watt LEDs uh, a couple of projects I want to do with these the three ones uh, there is one from DIY Perks uh, I'll put a, a link to his channel in the description he makes a very handy 3 watt uh, torch that connects to your phone USB on the go socket plan on doing that with these and any other thing that you need a slightly higher power LED that's that one Ok, bag number 2 Again I've kind of opened these So 
don't know what's in them, but I'll, uh, I'll show you. Bag is empty. Okay, now quite well wrapped. No issues here. Again, all these items are for AliExpress. Uh, all the links in the descriptions to them. Uh, these are two high power uh, audio amps. Uh, I think it goes up to 5 watts uh, with a 5 uh, volt input. Very handy, very useful. Make little Bluetooth speakers. We have got here five uh, power connectors that go to your standard uh, breadboard width uh, connectors. Uh, it's just an easier way of connecting your standard uh, five to two, five and two point one mil power connectors uh, up to your projects. Uh, it comes with a little LED. Uh, which shows you the power and the resistor is just there for the LED. These are actually a different colour on AliExpress, so when they came in blue, I was a bit surprised, but they function the same. Okay, here's a couple. So these are two uh, USB connectors, uh, and again, they go into Breadbroad Fenley spacing, put a few headers on those uh, and you've got the connectors focuses you've got the connectors for the uh, V plus, the ground data plus, data minus again very handy these are essentially the same but these are the thicker uh, I believe it's a B type USB the things you'd find on a on an Arduino, a bit more solid, a bit more chunkier. So if you want a project with a thicker USB cable, these will be the ones. Same kind of connectors. V in, uh, ground data plus data minus. Okay, these are some MOSFETs. Uh, I have a Raspberry Pi that is connected to my TV running as a media server and I also have some uh, NeoPixel strips running Hyperion uh, as an amb Ambilight clone uh, so when I play movies the back of the TV all lights up the wall uh, with the same colours as the movie um, the issue that I've got at the moment is the LED strips needs to be powered separately from the Raspberry Pi because it draws a lot of current and I'm also using a RASP uh, ATX uh, board for the power management of the Raspberry Pi but the MOSFET on that is only uh, rated up to 2.5 amps and the strip alone I believe takes about 3 or 4 amps uh, so these are designed as a, to use the, use the Rasp ATX board and it uses as a switch to power off the LED strips when I power off the Raspberry Pi. That's the idea, not tried it yet. In theory it should work, we'll give that a go. Here we have two push button momentary switches. Um, they're going to be for a project. It's a momentary switch. Press the button, it pops back up. And it closes the circuit. However, this has a LED ring to light up the switch. Um, and there's a the power connectors and the switch connectors on the back. However, you should notice that there's more connectors because this is an RGB LED switch. So the idea, uh, I'm gonna be using this for an alarm clock and I'd like some colour feedback on various functions, alarms. Um, so yeah, got two of those. What else have we got? 
is quite tricky to see. I'm not going to get this out because it's a faff. Um, but these are LED bars, uh, small uh, matrix of LEDs in a ladder strip formation, used for like power displays, um, progress displays. Uh, they're all individual, um, and you connect them up and light them up as a uh, as a progress bar or, an, or a battery bar. Not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Uh, again, one for the parts drawer. This is some bull wrap. Huh. So I'm going to get this one out actually. Not opened it yet. This is a lily pad Arduino. Um, so this is a wearable, sewable um, Arduino basically. Um, it's got the Atmel chip. Uh, all the connectors are a lot easier to access. You can clip them on with sewing thread or using gator clips. It's got the reset button. Oscillators there. It's basically a stripped down Arduino. Um, you program it using um, the serial headers there. Uh, always fancied one. Um, not sure again what for yet. One for the parts drawer. Neopixel ring. I always get these. Got a few of these in stock. Uh, got a few ideas of projects for a night light uh, using uh, this an AT Tiny 85 and an infrared remote control that you might have seen on another video. Um, always handy. Yeah. Uh, and this, uh, I've had some issues with this. This is, I forget the name of this, but it's kind of like a lily pad. Um, AT Tiny 85, essentially it's a DigiSpark board. Um, but I've had a few issues with it. Uh, namely it wouldn't work on one PC, but it would work on the another. And then fiddling with it, uh, I think I've ended up um, messing with the bootloader and messing with some fuses and now it doesn't respond to anything. Um, so the idea now is I need a high voltage uh, serial, serial programmer and reset the fuses to get access to the chip again and then I should be able to reprogram it. So it did work, doesn't work now, bit in limbo, need to fix it. And there we go. That's all the parts from that. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you've got any questions, any, any of the equipment, any of the gear that you've seen, leave a comment, I'll get back to you. Yeah, thanks.